I used to drive and my husband got Alzheimer's disease and when we retired um, I would drive him around and he got used to get very agitated sometimes and he would yell at me and that made me very nervous. He often had incorrect perceptions of what was going on. One time I was waiting at a red light and then it changed to green and there was a row of cars behind me and I, I started forward and he started yelling, look out for that school bus, look out for that school bus. And I looked around and I couldn't see any school bus. And then the people, because I didn't move fast enough, of course the people in the line behind me started honking at me and that made me kind of agitated and nervous myself. So I did move slowly forward, but I thought, well, I can't do this. It makes me too nervous. I'm afraid I'm going to hit somebody or do something stupid, you know, like that. And so I stopped driving. And then I did find out from a friend of mine at church about the ITN that you could call them and they would provide rides at low cost. So I inquired into it and we joined the ITN and we got rides to the doctor's office and we also got rides to, we belong to a, a lunch club called the Lunch Bunch that meets once a month. And so we would get rides to the different restaurants in St. Charles where they met. And it was a big help to us. It really was. And my husband's situation has gotten worse. So he is now in a nursing home. But I still use the ITN to go to a doctor appointments and other medical appointments. And also to go to a book club that I belong to. And I still go to the lunch bunch. And I really have found the people very helpful and always very kind. It's much less expensive than getting a cab. You know, the drivers with ITN are really friendly and, uh, you know, they talk to you and I've really sort of made sort of friends with some of them and I really like that and I think it's a wonderful service because I wouldn't be able to get to so many places without, without them.